we should be live now. Hello, people. We are back on Wednesdays for... Hello, people of the Twitch universe. Welcome to Dungeons and Dinosaurs. Now with a lot more dinosaurs than previously. You know, just like infinitely more dinosaurs. Possibly a dragon turtle in our future. Um, We are here with DM Kalith, kicking it real school. And, uh... To just recapping uh, what we remember from the last episode almost uh, a little bit more than a month ago before craziness happened. Um, so uh, three of the party, uh, the two brothers and the one-wigged angelic type woman, went down to the harbor to uh, see about a boat for getting us to some kind of fort with some jerks who think they own the jungle because we have to buy a charter from them so they don't slaughter us en masse whenever we're trying to trek through the jungle. Where hey, Mommy, remember when I was talking to you through uh, Billy's phone in one of the streams? I do. Um, anyway, so uh, we managed to uh, find a captain, uh, or rather get pointed towards a captain we've got yet to talk to, who owns a boat called the Brazen Pegasus, and then we switched back over to Busey and um, Sitlali, who were... Take it away, Busey and Sitlali. Yeah. Fantastic recap. Thank you so very much, especially if you're going back and looking that up, because uh, that really helped. Um, yeah, I've got the party in a couple of places at the moment. And you said it was just you and Sit Lolly back in the villa, and everyone else is down in the docks looking around. Yes. All right. So. Unless, uh, you and Sitlali, you guys have anything you wish to bring up, talk about, try and remember, have questions about, uh... Have his book. Oh yeah, she stole his book, she did. <laughs> and he didn't notice. Oh wait, did I give you a title on that book? No. It was the book we were trying to read in the, um... Catacomb. Oh, 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 oh. Busey's book. Okay. Yes. Well, let's see if you are attempting... Are are you going through that and trying to read it? Yeah, I can read it. I can do my thing if I want to. I can read any text if I'm holding it. Oh, that's right. You have, uh... Comprehend languages. <clears throat> she yes. fancy. She, do I, she real do I see her holding my book? Uh, she had stolen it without you noticing. So at the moment, uh... Yeah. What's your passive I'm perception? 12? Not yet. Sad, but it's Unless I'm, like, holding it and reading it randomly one day. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm asking. If she's holding it and reading it, I wasn't sure. Oh god, no, not right now, no. She's okay. not she's not a dumb cat. <laughs> she's a smart cat. <laughs> uh let's see. What was the title of the book that you had, Busey? Uh which one was it again? Because he had four. If I remember correctly from re-listening to the, the thingy, just to get the names right, he had the one that was uh talking about uh, that ancient race or something. Where the hell's Cat's notes when you need them? I mean, I have recordings. and uh, mm-hmm. Supposedly it was the one that was talking about the ancient, the ancient city and the ancient race. Mm. The one that, like, was in a completely mm-hmm. different language than normally and that you were trying to decipher. Uh, that is all four of them. Oh, great. Oh, uh, great. I didn't write the title of that. This is what we get for being off a month. You could but... roll a d4 and then decide which book it was. <laughs> I think we may do that because. Yeah. I know so... it's an important book either way. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was. It was an important one. It was the Sorry, one. I was just getting bombs. Give me a second. It was the one that uh, what's his name was really interested in. 
It wouldn't be the illusion magic, would it? I don't think so. It was about people. I remember that. Just don't know what the title was. I feel like it's something to do with magical history. But... Yeah, that sounds right. Well, the one, Azure Mars Guide to the Fantastic, is a, a bit on the uh, magical history side. Um, from Shattered, Substance can fit that bill. Here lies no. the king would be a no. Uh, and the Unfettered yeah. Mind, I think we had talked about that one briefly yeah. because it apparently included sketches of brains and jars. Hmm. I think it was the guide. Uh, Azimar's guide? Mm -hmm. I think it was because I remember him being like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. I'm willing to go with it. That sounds right because I think uh, Shaka Zulu or whatever his name is was super interested in it. <laughs> Wakanga Otamu. Wakanga, that's right. Whose that's accent funny. I can never do the way I have it in my head. That honestly sounds like some sort of Japanese name. It sounds like it sounds like Wakanda. It does sound like Wakanda. <laughs> yeah, also yeah, but like the way it was said also sounds like a Japanese name. Uh, it sounds, it sounds, cool. <laughs> I mean, that's true. That's yeah, it sounds cool. I'm gonna go with that one. It sounds cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, you have uh, Ashmar's Guide to the Fantastic in your hand, sit Lolly, and you start muttering out the components to the spell, and you're holding the book open before you. And I assume I didn't, know, I didn't want to hold the book open. I just wanted to stash it in my stuff. Oh, <laughs> stashing it in your stuff then? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna open it at the most opportune time to piss off Boo Boo. <laughs> That's that is perfect. completely fair. Uh, in which case, I'm going to steal it from your backpack, uh, UC, and move it over to Sivali's. Go for it. I think we already did that. Uh, well, yes, but that was before the world ended. Fair point. All right, we're good to go on that. So yeah, you you quickly nab that and stash it away. You're good to go, Sivali. Uh, was there anything else you guys had in mind here? Nah. I think uh, team team one winged angel Sephiroth was going to talk to that gnome captain so <laughs> yeah and I think that's kind of where we were mostly heading towards at the end of last last time we met so in which case you, you want to find folks they are heard Spike. That's everybody at the moment. Uh, no. uh, you guys were going down towards, uh, I believe it was the Royal Docks, in search of the Brazen Pegasus. Yes. Yes. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, <laughs> as you guys are. You gotta try to get back into accent. You're Luckily, right. really my do. character doesn't exactly have its own distinct voice. I just do whatever I want. I think that is his distinct voice. Is uh, doing whatever he wants to. Yep. Yeah, sounds uh, about right. I was just to it sounds good to me. To British, I can be British if I want. Nobody can stop me. I certainly can't. That's probably the one thing I won't stop you from because it does not hurt anyone. <laughs> also, because you gotta admit, it sounds pretty British to me. It sounds pretty darn good. Anywho, gnomes and boats. Gnomes and boats, guys. As you're heading down through the the docks after I believe you had talked to Zindar. Yeah. Or no, you're. I think you are there, and you had talked to Zindar out in the docks, mm -hmm. and he was pointing out a boat to you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He um, said the Brazen Pegasus was the only one that was going to be headed that way. Um, yeah, he, no! he points out a very fine vessel that's over there. Um, 
And as you're looking over, you can see that one of the sails is being furled and there's a, a picture of a kind of like a yellowy gold uh, horse with wings drawn upon it um, before it's wrapped up uh, as the ship is just kind of doing daily maintenance routines and the like. Um, you can see tiny figures scurrying around on it and you see one very tiny figure up on the I, I ban you. Oh. oh my god. Main castle? Ban you. You're banned. Cannot remember the full name of uh, the parts of the ship. Shame on me. Um, one very tiny figure up there, uh, just kind of looking around, shouting orders, and keeping everything in a general ship shape sort of shape. Hi there! Herg yells, cupping his hands to his mouth. I cut all of three syllables and then you cut off. Oh, he says, hi there! <laughs> That's it. That's and what he says. <laughs> Fair will lift her arm and like wave wildly to help. And as you guys are doing that, uh, they, don't, they don't seem to turn in your direction. They don't seem to I mean, if, if anyone does, they just kind of look for a second at the loud noise and then just kind of go back to what they were doing. Huh. Uh, Fair, do you talk, um, do you talk boat? Can you get their attention? You were on a boat, right? I, I don't think I've been on a boat. Like, not a big one. Do you know how to talk to them? <laughs> I could try. Okay. Uh, I, they are quite a bit far away, so um, uh, maybe we walk up to them, yes? Oh, yeah, mm, is there a gangplank? He looks around for, like, a way to get on the boat. Uh, yeah, it's uh, down at the end of the dock, and you do see a gangplank with a few people walking up and down, taking care of things. I jog in that direction. And you start Fair jogging. Right. And for jogging, you guys get down towards the end of the dock, and you're seeing uh, some of the crew onloading and offloading various things, mostly oh, no. closed boxes. In crates, and there are a couple there that just seem to be keeping an eye on things, and they see you coming, and then they automatically move to just kind of stop you from making it to the base of the gangplank. Uh, yeah. This is the quality Dungeons and Dragons you're here for. <laughs> yes, baby, this is. Oh, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, her her kind of slows down. It's kind of just still jogging in place because adrenaline. He's like, oh, uh, hi, uh, we, we wanted to talk to somebody about paying money to get on the boat to go to that fort thing that everybody hates. Yes, this is the Pegasus, yes? Yeah, this is Pegasus. Looking for passage? Yeah. Uh-huh. I can lift things. Yeah. Ah. And I can assure that there is wind in the sails the entire way. Uh, we do have a few more people that would uh, be going with us, of course, uh, if that would be okay. Uh, are you the captain? Nah, nah. Captain's up on the main deck. Oh. Well, oh. I'll grab him. Okay, Y'all can talk right. Sounds good. Thank you Thank very you. much. And, uh... He goes off, and goes up the gangplank and you see him uh, get up there and you see him bend down towards yeah. a gnome who is listening rather intently kind of peeks over at you guys um, and then just kind of nods mm -hmm. thoughtfully uh, ushers the, the guy on to go back to his post and uh, a couple minutes later starts making well, their way not at his post? No, his post was down where you guys were well, oh boy, I hope someone got fired for that. <laughs> no, he did his job, babe. He went to go tell the captain that we needed to talk to him. Oh, okay. <laughs> then never mind. I hope nobody got fired for that. <laughs> Maybe out of a cannon <laughs> later, dear. How many heads are gonna roll? Planks are gonna gang. Anywho. <laughs> but do I think... Um, oh, later. I don't know why I made that fire joke though. That is way overused. 
Anyway, a minute later, uh, coming down the gangplank, you do see uh, a gnome. Just kind of a standard, average-looking gnome. Uh, hardy leather. Uh, looks like she keeps uh, a cutlass on her side. Um, otherwise, very, very bright eyes. Um, very intelligent as she looks around and just takes everything in and is looking you folks up and down, mostly up, given her height. She looks to be only a few hairs over three feet. Um, it's tall for a gnome. Wow. Hello there. I hear you're looking for passage. Uh, where are we looking to go? Oh, uh, so we're supposed to do stuff in the jungle, but everybody tells us there's this fort over there with a bunch of, uh, they said they were jerks. Um, who will kill us if we're in the jungle, if we don't get a piece of paper saying we're allowed to be in the jungle. So we were wondering if uh, you could maybe like drop us off there. We could uh, do work on the boat or pay you money, wh whatever you need for us to be able to, to stop at that fort place. Well, I have plenty of hands on deck already. <laughs> um, so no, I would prefer a coin for passage. Uh... Ten gold a person. That's... That sounds good, and that'll get you sure. a week. All right. Are you intending to go outside the bay, or is am I just dropping you off on the nearest, uh, yeah. we'll just say beach, and you get to walk the rest of the way? Uh, whatever's the, whatever you think is the easiest way to get to that fort place without them trying to kill us before we get to that fort place. Well, I mean, honestly, just dropping you off in the nearest beach and then you walk the rest of the way. Yeah. No, I th at least from what I've heard, they're usually pretty docile the closer you are, because like, most people tend to be going in towards it. Oh, okay, cool. Then, yeah, that's probably the best way to go. I heard there's a dragon turtle, though. Uh, should we be worried about that? And that's why I asked if we were going out of the bay. Anybody? We should probably be worried about that. Uh, no, not really. Only if you leave in the Bay of Chult and trying to go out and around the Cape. Uh, otherwise, no, he tends not to make his way too far in. Okay. All right, then. Besides, I just don't want to get killed by some turtle dragon. I don't think anybody does. But, but then again, it would be kind of cool if we had a shell. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Now, <laughs> if we were trying to go out the bay, you, you would be paying his fare. Um, he usually demands gold for passage through. If he, he doesn't get it, he tends to bite holes through hulls, and she kind of just gestures towards the, the dry docks oh, that you can see a couple hundred feet away, and you watch as a uh, couple of large hadrosaurs, um, duckbills, there we go. Fluters, I'm remembering the names now, don't worry. Uh, on either side of the ramparts with huge chains attached, and they're just slowly dragging up out of it, uh, this huge ship, and you can see kind of underneath it, it, it looks like something huge just reached up and then just took a bite out of the ship like it was an apple. Herg reflexively hugs both Spike and Faye out of terror. <laughs> I just noticed, this is a turtle dragon we're supposed to be worried about. What else is a turtle and a dragon? Are it big? Think about that. Big? I mean, like out of. I mean, like out of character, like it, like in, like in, in a certain video game. What turtle dragon does this make you think of? Oh no, is the turtle dragon's name Bowser? Could be. We don't speak for That's the brand or the company. Uh, it's just Bowser? one little reference. Don't get us sued. <laughs> And after we've broken the fourth wall, we are back to the RP. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that name, but no, this particular one tends to go by Aramag. Are we are we looking to be leaving the bay or, uh, or no? We'll, we'll go with the beach idea. Your beach idea sounds like a good idea. All right, fantastic. Well, I know just the beach to drop you off on. There should be a... It's a few miles long. Might be a day's travel from the beach, but you should be able to make it to the forts. No, got it. With, without me. too much issue, I hopefully, died. unless something comes along and eats you. Well, it's better than the several days it would be without your boat. Yeah, granted, I think from here it'd probably take you about a week to walk there, and 
Well, that's a week no. of. Um, no. And she just kind of looks over at some large dinosaurs that are walking past. Yeah, it's kind of a week of that. <laughs> no, we would be very happy to take your boat, uh, your your travel uh, to the beach. It would be very much appreciated. Um, but we do have a couple of people. We are, as, as well as ourselves, that we uh, would like to bring along. If that is all right. Like, like I said, ten gold per person. Of course, and. At least as long as I'm on the boat, I could possibly help with keeping the wind in the sails. Uh, I, I can, I can, uh... She kind of holds up her hand and, and shows, shows her a little, little summoned gust of wind. You see? <laughs> that won't be necessary. Thank you, though. No, it's, I, I keep a tight ship around here, and, well, just that alone will keep us moving forward. That's the important part. Besides, too much wind and we'll have the same problems is not enough. Oh, I did not know. I would let that is, is, is something new. <laughs> I have no idea how boats work. Me either, but they are quite amazing. Very big, but they do not sink. Mm -hmm. And, well, I like to keep it that way. <laughs> and but... if we happen to run into any storms, well, I expect you lot to hunker down like I tell you and to not do anything out of the ordinary. And if you do, toss you overboard. That's yes, ma'am. But yes, of course, it is not our boat. I do not know why we would cause issue. Just making sure, you know. Some people like to think that, even though they haven't been on them before, that they know everything, and they learn very quick that the sea is merciless, and there's no need for it, so... Oh, heck no. We'll be fine. I don't know anything about boats. You're in charge. You're, you're the expert, right? Of course. <laughs> expert. Um... I don't know if anybody can be considered an expert. I just haven't died yet. Huh. Herg looks pensive because that's great deep stuff right there. <laughs> oh, oh anyway. said it one, and I'll say it again. This is the quality Dungeons and Dragons that you're here for. Yes, baby. So, when were you uh, planning to set out? Uh, so, so we may go fetch our friends and not be back too late. I mean, essentially, you lot will just be a stop on our way out of the bay. Um, so I was intending to leave, not tomorrow, but the day after. Yeah. Uh, right at uh, dawn, if that works for you folks. Yes, I think that seems plenty of time. What time should we be at the boat by? Uh, before we leave. Okay. Otherwise, I don't wait. So Understood. Before light hits the bay, is what I'm hearing, right? Uh, just be here before the sun is up, and we'll be fine. Cool. Alright, thank you very much. I, I, he tries to shake her hand. And she gladly holds it out and shakes. And it's it's very firm. Um, you can feel the calluses. It's She's more than just someone who hollers at people. And apparently she takes a, a, a personal approach to leading her ship with the, those sorts of calluses. <laughs> Faye is used to giving hugs, but she doesn't look very huggable, so she's just gonna bow. Yeah, no, she she does not look huggable. Um, <laughs> as, as cool and collected as uh, the captain is, um, which I don't think I've even still said her name. Mm -mm. Um, oh, uh, by the way, my name is Faye, and this is uh, Hork. Oh yeah, I'm really sorry. I do the thing where I talk about stuff to people and I never tell them my name and I forget about <laughs> things I, I skip the steps ahead Hi, I'm Herc, it's nice to meet you and this is my brother Spike well, it's Hello pleasure. And Hello no, I, I I and Okay I guess that works too uh, Or to me Or to me swift and dark, thank you And oh. you know, sometimes Introductions aren't needed. It depends on the line of business, but we're not in that particular line. Kirk is confused. <laughs> but you have a very nice name. Uh, we will be here uh, at the time you specified, and thank you so much for your uh, help. No, of course. Thank you for booking passage aboard the Brazen Pegasus, and well, let's hope we don't sink, yes? Of course. <laughs> Definitely. Oh. Okay. Uh, bye. It's a Goodbye. pleasure. Bring gold with you. And she turns and walks off. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>
or I mean, Captain. <laughs> you just you just see her do like a two fingered salute from behind. Her like draws to attention and imitates what he's seen soldiers do by saluting. It's probably terrible, but he's trying. <laughs> <laughs> the the, uh, the two strong arms that had been down at the end of the gang like, just kind of uh, elbow one another and just chuckle. Oh, uh, I didn't ask your guys' names. I'm really sorry. Hi, I'm Herg. <laughs> it's all good. You got her talking. She doesn't take uh, to people that quickly, that well. Good on you. Name's Greg. I'm the first mate. Hi, Greg. Uh, the, well, you heard our names. I'm Herg, this is Spike, and this is Bay. And, uh, yeah, we've got two others that'll be coming. Um, there's Boo Boo and, uh, Sitlali. Uh, she, she's, she's really cool looking. You'll like her. And, uh, Boo Boo, he likes elf stuff and magic. So, um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> twinkle toes. Like it. Oh no, he can he can do fighting things too, but he likes like all of the things. He's uh, what are they called? Um, jack of all trades. Doesn't change my opinion. Okay. This, he elbows his friend. This pos here doesn't matter. <laughs> and he just kind of pushes the guy, and he almost falls over. Ah, uh, I, I, friends do that sometimes. It's all in good fun. Right? Okay. Nah. Uh, yeah. Nah. He knows better. Oh. Uh, well, we we should go uh, get our friends now, don't you think, uh, Herc and Spick? Uh, yep, yep. Do doing that now. All right. Thank you for uh, saying hi to us, and we'll see you not tomorrow, yeah. but the day after a dawn. Yep. I'll see you all Goodbye. Hey, Kayla. Yes. I have no idea how happy the nickname Twinkle Toes makes me. <laughs> I mean, you were just described as an elf that is into magic and stuff. This guy is not that bright from his from what you can tell, so it just reminds me of my favorite avatar character. Yep. Oh god. Toph. Oh, I love Toph. Toph is lovely. The best. Absolute best. OG. And the reference goes over my head because I've not seen more than like two episodes. So Toph is, um, don't speak for the brand of the company, blah, blah, blah. Toph is a uh, blind earthbender. Yeah. And she, she's... <laughs> she's like fucking seven and she's the most badass kid ever. Yeah. I love her. I was going to say, to put it in simplest terms for you, she is a blind crotchety ass kicker. Yes. Fair enough. She learned how to earthbend from giant moles the size of dinosaurs. Which is not a spoiler because she tells you that when you meet her. Exactly. Oh my god. I mean, it's still technically a spoiler, but whatever. Six years old, sorry. Well, it's spoiled by the show itself, then. I don't know. I don't watch it. Okay. And then, and then <laughs> we get into Korra, it's even better. I haven't seen any of Korra yet, except for like the oh, first Oh, Korra's episode. great. I, I am told that. Korra. I am told that. And you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pack at the ranch. Sorry, as, my bad. As they're walking away, uh, Herc turns to Faye and says, Should we go talk to that dwarf guy and let him know that we've got to do a trip into the jungle first before we can see about doing that other thing that he wants? Yes, yes, that is a great idea. And I think it... Uh, yes, we should tell him so he's not waiting too long. Uh, I think this... Uh, let's see. Uh, this way. Right. And we go there. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, and I think it was down in the... Yeah, a small setup in the Red Bazaar, yeah. yes? Mm -hmm. I think that was where he was. That's where he was. Um, so you guys take some time, start making your way across Nyanzaru, and uh, you're held up at one point because uh, it looks like one of the street, one of the main streets that you have to go across mm -hmm. is kind of blocked off. And people are expectingly uh, looking around, and uh, not too much long uh, after, it's more about a minute or two, and you hear the thunder's footsteps, and the crowd just starts cheering, um, and you hear dinosaurs roaring as they come charging around, and you see in the lead what looks to be a very young um, albino tyrant, and it's just thundering along. 
and right up next to it is uh, very similar to the one from the other day. Uh, when you guys first popped in, that kind of went bonkers and almost started trying to eat its rider. Um, this one, the coloration is different, so you know it's a, a different okay. terror that's charging its way around. Um, and it just seems to be these two, at least, for the moment, as they go tearing past. Um, and then just kind of right after, almost plodding along very slowly, looks to be this really old mace tail. And people are still just cheering this thing on as it's just kind of plodding along, just gently trotting and um, just kind of looking around on big dopey faces. It's, it's just running in the sunlight. And, and then it, uh, they go tearing past and and then the crowd kind of dies down a bit and people, you can see money being exchanged um, and people starting to walk off. Herc resists the urge to run out and pet the spiky tail. But eventually this little part of the road clears out and you guys can get across and make your way down towards the Red Bazaar, which is still uh, decently full. I think it's, uh, I don't remember what time of day we were at when we left off, so I'm just going to say we're kind of like early to mid-afternoon right now. Um, and... Yeah, no, you're able to find his little setup within the Red Bazaar. Um, I think he had the little... No, he didn't have the open air one. He had his own little storefront, I think, if I'm recalling. Um, it had but, a. It was like a shack almost, and it had like armor and stuff in it. It was an armor shop. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because um, he promised to help us make armor if we help him find his homeland. Um, you peek uh, your heads in, and you see that he is in there. It looks like yeah. he's got some leather. Um, very, very freshly tanned leather that he's starting to stitch together. Um, he kind of looks up, there's a needle poking out, and, uh, y yes? Oh, hi, uh, we talked earlier, you remember us? Yes, made promise. Yes, okay. yes. So, we will help, but first we have to take Trip into the jungle to find something for a lady we also make promise to. It will take about... How long did we say it was going to take? Well, I think the real question here is if we look at that map of Chult, because I don't remember what you guys had planned for what directions. I know our current plan is to go to Fort Bellawarian to get a charter from the Flaming Fist up there. I'm waiting for that to load. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we were going to go um, around the coast before we go into the yes we were planning we were planning on going to the fort and then going along the coast um, next to the ocean which is outside the jungle um till we get to the spot where we've got to go into the jungle and uh, going to that place and then we were going back through the jungle to the town the other way because uh we wanted to hit that one spot that was unexplored to put on the map Okay, so we're taking a boat from Lanzar out and around that uh, tidbit there, getting dropped off up here. Yeah, and then yeah. cutting through this little bit of forest over to the mountains. Okay, mm -hmm. tugging those, and then getting out and across down to here. Yeah. Okay, and then following that down towards Castigliar, and then ultimately Mesro. Mm hmm Which was cutting our... through the... Yeah. And then cutting through the jungle over to the river Tiriki and following that back up the port. Right. So All we right. don't have to go through it like once instead of having to go back and forth through dangerous territory. Yeah. And we were going to hit that Beautiful. one unexplored hexagon. Well, potentially, we're trying to hit that one unexplored hexagon on our way. Which I mean, definitely doable. Um, so just for time reference then. Uh, since you are doing it by boat, the journey from Ninezaru out and around that tidbit towards Bellowarian will only take uh, like a day and a half, two days. Um, so you'll get there about noonish on the second day. Okay. It will be about a day's travel upon landing to get to Bellowarian. That's three and a half days. Uh, each hex going down and across will be a day at a normal pace. Four and a half, 
five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half, twelve and a half, thirteen and a half, fourteen and a half, fifteen and a half, sixteen and a half, seventeen and a half, eighteen and a half, nineteen and a half to get to Port Castigliar. 20 and a half, mm. 21, 22 to get to Mesro total, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 and a half to get to River Tikitik, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. To Don't forget to, you have to calculate rest periods into that too. Nope. That's already taken into account. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 34, 34 then. Each hex uh, is a full day. 36. So about 37 and a half days. So we're going to be so, gone for a little bit over a month. Uh, wait, each week is 10 days, right, in this place? Yes. So and each month is... Almost uh, each month okay. is three weeks of yeah. 10 days. Okay. So, just under four weeks. We're going to be about four weeks before we are back. Um, and then after that, uh, we're going to rest a little bit. And then uh, we can probably help you out. Is that okay. good? And he, he gives a thumbs up and nods. And Homeland, missing. Still missing in month. Why is the power? Okay. Uh, we, we do very desperately want to help you. So yes. we will all not to be too long. And we just wanted to let you know before we left so that way you wouldn't be waiting too long. Yes. Uh, we and we will ask along the way too. Yes. We didn't want you to think that... Um, we didn't want you to think that we were running off without helping you. We were just going to be gone about four weeks so we wanted to let you know before we went and then when we come back we will help okay okay but we will see you and make it back we will not be leaving until the day after this uh if you have need of us for any reason otherwise and uh, i guess in the meantime a uh, goodbye and be safe if you need to tell us something we'll be at uh What's his name again? What Waka Wakanda? Wakari Wakari. Wakonga. <laughs> Wakonga. We'll be at Wakonga's. <laughs> we'll be okay. at Mr. Wakonga's house if you need to talk to us uh for the next day and then we're going on a boat. <laughs> Thumbs up. Okay. 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 Goodbye. And then uh Faye is gonna like lock arms with them both and like leave them back. We should go there. Let's go. I am ushered away by Faye. <laughs> and you just hear him humming as you walk out and he turns and goes back to his stitching. That went well. I'm glad he's not sad. No, he seems to be a very patient individual. That's good. I I'm glad we can help him when we get back. Yes, I am very excited. Definitely. I wonder where his homeland is. Uh, he said very far south beyond the jungle, I think. Or very far beyond the jungle. I don't actually know if it's south. Um, but he knows the way, he says, so... Okay. Oh, yes. yes, let's go find the others and explain everything. Yep, we got a whole day to buy supplies and stuff for the journey and figure out if we want a dinosaur. Whole day? I think you mean only a day. We oh, need to I definitely want a dinosaur. Uh, what were you saying, Faye? He's like, oh, we have a day. We have only a day. Let's go. Right. Yep. And uh, we go back to Wakanga's house. Sounds good. And you guys are making your way back in. And uh, you see Wakanga's guards who kind of notice you and just nod and let you in. I wave. Nice to see you again. No reactions. <laughs> They're really good at their jobs. Yes, no distractions. But 
you guys make your way in and wherever uh, Sitlali and uh, Busey are, uh, you don't see Wakanga at the moment. Dang, it all took forever. We got a boat. Yes. Oh, well, all right, well, at least it was productive. Oh, and we told the dwarf guy that uh, we can't help him till we come back in about four weeks. Yes, so oh. there is no worry about that. Yep. Did he Did he mention if the armor is still going to be there? Uh, we didn't ask what it looked like it was. Uh, he was working on some leather. Yep. Hmm. I mean, okay. I didn't ask that. I just wanted to let him know that it's going to be a little bit before we can help him. So he didn't think that... Hmm. You know, we skipped out on a promise. All right. All right. Well, you know, that's the whole point of us going. So I'm going to make sure that's a thing. Uh, that's not my point of going. I'm going because he needs help. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's right. I forgot. You're full of altruism. My apologies. I don't know what that word means. Is that a good word, Faye? Uh, I have heard it before. It means that you uh, uh, do not care about yourself as much as you do other people. Oh yeah, that's true. That's me. That's me, and yes. And Spike cares about hitting things with stuff. <laughs> right, Spike? I love giant swords. Yes. I have a question. Yes? yes. What was, I remember us talking about where, yes, it takes a day for basically a whole hexagon, but what was the thing where, what is it, we roll or something to be able to go through an extra hex? I was curious. I don't remember what that was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All good. Um, so, at the start of each day, you guys could decide to go at a quicker pace than normal. Um, in which oh case, God. we would be rolling a d4, and you we get a three or a four. You guys go two hexes instead of one. Woo. Woo. Oh. Uh, other than that, if you go at a slow pace, we roll a day, f a day four, a D four, and on a one or a two, you guys don't go a hex. Dun, now, there will be advantages and disadvantages to both. Uh, going at a faster pace, you can cover more area, yes, but... You are more likely to miss things, uh, potentially walk into ambushes. Um, going at a slower pace, you can go stealthily. You are more likely to see things, and maybe you'll be the ones doing the ambushing. And at a normal pace, it's 50-50? And at a normal pace, uh, you guys will just be going a hex, and it'll mostly just be, hey, who knows? I like just, just yeah, I think I think we had decided to like on the way there to double up and then on the way back to go slow because we'd be going through the jungle and possibly find more stuff. Yeah, because we're gonna go mostly along the coast. Yeah. On the way. Not down. to say there isn't stuff along the coast, but there's yeah. possibly more stuff in the jungle. There's so I think we've decided to go faster there's on the way there skulls. and slow. There's more skulls in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Also, on the map, what's Kirsabal? Kirsa what now? I don't know. What is Kirsabal? It's just a little tiny area that's open in the yeah. hexagon area. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm quite aware. Um, Sitlali is not. <laughs> Spoilers! Yeah, no, no, that's that. That name is intentionally left open on the map. Um, you you guys do own this map. Um, <laughs> this is yours. So, if you're unfamiliar with something, it's because you haven't found someone to talk to about it yet, or you just haven't asked. Okay, well, so Lolly wants to ask uh, Wakanga about it. Well, he's missing at the moment. Okay, well, whenever he comes back. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, so, they will, uh, uh, it, uh, by the way, uh, uh, so we have a day to get ready for the voyage. Uh, they leave uh, the day after tomorrow, but in the morning when the light comes up. So we have to be at the ship uh, before the sun rises, yes? Yep. 
Which means we so, gotta get all our shopping done tomorrow. Yes. Uh, so do we want to get a dinosaur to carry, like, our stuff so it's not, uh, as much stuff to carry? Yeah, but then we have another th um, um, <coughs> oh. sorry, excuse me. What? Uh, I was looking at a character for a second. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, by the way, uh, she said that it would be 10 gold per person, so uh, make sure you have that much for the voyage. Wouldn't you think it'd be better if we didn't get a dinosaur, so that way we don't have to make sure we take care of it on the way? Because we are going to be gone a long time. Uh, the dinosaur guy said mostly when they're in the jungle, they kind of just eat the stuff in the jungle. So, he another thing we'd have to keep an eye on when we're in the jungle. Uh, I guess, but also less stuff for us to lug and get tired. I mean, it's up to you. If you don't want us to get a dinosaur this go around, we could just, like, try it without the dinosaur, and then see what happens, and then if we decide we need a dinosaur, next time we go in the jungle, we'll get a dinosaur. Dinosaur. But it seems to me like all the people who do stuff have dinosaurs. But Especially if you are, we are going to be trekking through the jungle on the it, uh, it may serve as well to have at least a herbivore, you know? And uh, I, I don't think we should have like a giant one or anything, but maybe one that's like normal horse sized. Because like when people go on, on trips, they usually bring something that can carry their stuff. Okay. It is another thing to look out for, you are correct, but uh, it, I think it would be quite useful, do you not? Dinosaur. We could always vote on it. I vote dinosaur. I also vote dinosaur. I just really want dinosaur. Dinosaur is cool. Please yeah. sit, Lolly. I'll feed it. I'll give it walks. I'll take care of it. I'll give it the love it needs. And I'll pet it every night before bed. Please, please, sit, Lolly. You know, I mean, if I'm it's not like... paying for it. it I, I don't want the dinosaur right now, but that's whatever you want to do. Okay, it's I will pay life. for it. I will go. Me and me and Spike and Faye will go to the dinosaur place tomorrow to look at dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Hey, and uh, let me know if you find a megalodon, please. What's a megalophon? Uh, big oh. fish. I don't think they yes. have fish in the pens because they're on the land. Maybe you can uh, find a megalophon when we're on the boat. It would be wild, though. That sounds like fun. Uh, oh, uh... The, the captain did say that we uh, should not uh, fool around. If yep. We should act like crew members while we are on the ship, mm -hmm. or she will toss us off. Yep. Into the water with the dragon turtle. Yes. Oh, well, dang. I don't feel like getting thrown in the water. All yeah. Right, well. She pretty much said you better listen to her or bad things will happen to you. Uh, and she's really good at her job, so we should probably listen to her. Yes. Also, you never mentioned that she, we would be bringing a dinosaur with us. Hmm, that's a good point. We'll stop by the boat tomorrow before we go look at the dinosaurs to ask if dinosaurs yes, are okay. Dinosaur. I can go speak to the captain while you get the dinosaur. What was that, Faye? I can go speak to the captain while you get the dinosaur, and uh, if she says no, then we can stop it at the stables. And if she says yes, then we'll pick it. Well, if she says no, then we'll just wait till we don't need a boat to get a dinosaur next time. That way we save oh. the money in case we need it at that port place where we're planning on restocking stuff. Oh, that's true. Uh, yes, the passes probably are not going to be free. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, so uh, maybe we do not get dinosaur uh, now. It would help with uh, transporting items, but maybe we just pack light, yes? Or we just ask her how much to do a dinosaur tomorrow before we try buying a dinosaur. 
and go from there. Yes. Yes, I suppose so. Anywho, I'm gonna go to bed now. Uh, do we know where we're supposed to sleep? Uh, no. I would go back to the inn where I have been staying, but they, otherwise, I do not know. I think Mr. Wakonga said we're allowed to stay here, but I don't know what room. Uh, Indeed, I did. Ah. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Kirk jumps. <laughs> uh, please, we have guest rooms upstairs. Uh, otherwise, I mean, you may certainly sleep where you wish, just please not on the floor. Hey, sir. Uh, good to see you. I, I wanted to... Let me say that. I wanted to ask you a passage about this book. Uh, wait. What? Y'all see my book? Uh, we've been out all day, so I don't what? know where you left it while we were gone. Dang. You so probably you my book. did. You take it to the bathroom. It sometimes you want to read huh? it in the bathroom because you gotta help things get moving, and it really helps. You should check the bathroom. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> do it. I'm gonna wait all day. What book? To get you back. have a whole bunch of books. Yeah, but I was I was only working on one. Alright. Hold the phone. I'm gonna I'm gonna go check the bathroom. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, Mr. Wakonga. Thank you very much for letting us spend the night. Indeed. I will have someone take you to a room if you wish. Thank you very much, sir. And Herc does a weird bow that's like trying, but No does... no. We we do not do that here. Oh uh do we shave? What, is it a federal offense or something? No, it is just awkward. Oh, okay. Do, do we shake? He holds out his hand awkwardly. No, you are fine. Just please follow the servant. Okie dokie. <laughs> Follows the servant. <laughs> uh, do you treat anybody with respect around here? I think we do it without bowing. I think we nod. Yes. Good night, Faye. Good night. Come on, Spike. Let's go test out the beds. I bet they're really soft. Okay. I like swords. I don't think we should sleep on swords. I didn't say I was gonna sleep on the sword. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I just said that? that to say that. Because it's a bit of pointless information that everybody already knows. Since this is obviously... No, um, since this is just somebody streaming. Wait, yeah. did I go too deep? Baby, stop breaking the fourth wall, please, and let Kayla set the mood. Thank I love you. you. But the servant actually takes you just around the corner from the common room and points out one of the doors, and uh, this is one, if you wish, there are, and points down the hallway to the right, um, two more down through that door on the left that you may certainly pick from. Otherwise, there are uh, two upstairs and then the master bedroom, but that is uh, the master's, of course. Oh, yeah, I don't want to steal somebody else's bedroom. Uh, the, this one's good. He just, like, looks at the first one, and if it has a big fluffy bed, he's taking that one. Um, you poke your head in the room, and it's there's a very nice comfy couch uh, within it. Same uh, kind of couches that were in um, just the... Uh, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on the name of that room. Like common it's room. Not a, yes, common room. Thank you. It's not a study, but um, and you can see a, just a just a small table, like one of those little coffee tables, and you see a little bubbling fountain um, across the way along the wall, flanked by two windows, and you see a heavy curtain drawn across the right side um, that must lead further in. Oh, it's pretty. I call this room. He runs inside. You run inside. It's oh, do we all get individual rooms? Uh, yes, if you wish, unless you wish to bed together. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm good. I don't think I'll have nightmares. This place looks awesome. Indeed. Um, and you, you take a look, and you can see that the curtain, very stylized. It almost looks like a, a tapestry. It's um, 
almost bewildering at how many different images are being contained within just like a seven foot tall piece of fabric. Um, but very large, you can see that it's very heavy, but easily push, push aside a bowl um, with very primitive depictions of what must be much of the local uh, fauna, primarily, not so much the flora. Um, I'm guessing we end this at 10 as usual. Unless uh, earlier, if it's more convenient. Uh, I, I think we'll keep playing until somebody gets uh, tired or Kayla says it's time to stop, dear. Pretty much. Yeah, I was just wondering if I'd have time after after this to um be in the, li be in the living room on my computer. Yes, baby, you will. I'm supposed to go in my room at 10. Baby, I don't work tomorrow. I don't need you to be super quiet tonight. Oh. Well, then that's great. Okay, anyway, back to the game. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yes, Herg, if you wish, you may certainly take this one. You see that the bed pushing aside the curtain? Oh, that looks soft. Very well made. There's a large pillow. Good. Like, the pillow itself is like five feet across, taking up the entire um, headrest of the that side of the bed. Um, very thick, downy blankets uh, kind of neatly draped across it. Very, very plain. Um, they seem to just be solid colors, not stylized like the curtain itself. Um, with just a, a window off to the north side of the room, so that way sunlight does not come beaming in bright and early. Herg promptly removes his boots and his armor, but leaves, you know, clothes on because he's not a savage. Backs up two steps and takes a running leap into the bed, uh, arms and legs thrown wide to uh, belly flop onto it. And you belly flop and you don't, you don't bounce. You just, <laughs> and you just kind of gently sink into what is probably the softest down you have ever leapt into like you just it's almost like memory foam sort of thickness and quality like you just gently sink with the weight and it just kind of spreads out and it completely absorbs the force of your your massive muscle body slamming into it and... i love this bird i'm never leaving <laughs> <sighs> And, and meanwhile, Faye will ask for a room with a window because she's used to sleeping outside, and she doesn't she 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 doesn't like sleeping indoors. <laughs> oh well, all of the windows, all of the rooms, not windows. All of the windows have windows. Yes, all of the rooms have <laughs> windows, so there is no need for that. Um, if you wish, please take one of the rooms uh, just down the corridor. Uh, they lead out uh, to the. Small courtyard off to the side of the house. Oh, yes, thank you. And then Faye's just gonna bounce off all happy straight there. Indeed. And you go tearing down and around, and it's on still on the first floor. You go, uh, you hook a left out of the common room, and then you hook a right down at the end of the hallway. And that first door on your left is now Herg's room. And you just hear the moaning, the, the, the poof. And then the moaning as he just sinks into the bed and you go down and... <laughs> My spinal column has aligned properly! Oh. <laughs> and um, the door opens and you can see off to the right-hand side uh, the double doors that are kind of cracked open um, just to gently let in the day's air and sunlight. You can hear the fountain um, bubbling out in the little kind of like courtyard area. And then two doors off to the left. Um, each of which is currently open, and you see uh, very comfy, actually, double beds in each one, with doors on the other side of those rooms, possibly leading to uh, closets. Hey, hey, actually, likes this room because, as you can imagine, a wing probably takes up a lot of room on a small bed. So, big bed, big, big, big. Uh, Faye's just gonna, you know, close the doors and go lay down. Spike, are you going to get a room, too? Spike? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get a room. Well, yeah, I, um, 
Oh, mm. sorry. Nope, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, I don't need much, just a little bit of room. I got like 1,500 sit-ups to knock out tonight. So possibly one on the first floor then. That's where you do not wake the stuff, yes? Yeah, that would help. And if it has a bath? So we actually have uh, communal bathrooms. Okay. That is a separate bathroom, not together. Right. I, yeah, that that would be great. Indeed. Uh, each each room has its own wash basin and fountain, but otherwise there is the and he kind of leans out and he points off to the right and you see a large set of double doors. There is the communal uh, bathhouse and then I have a sauna as well. And, and if you desire a bit of privacy, uh, there is a small side room with curtains. Thank you. And as well, throughout the city, you will find that we here in Trult are very prim and proper about our cleanliness. And there are many bathhouses that you may pay for private rooms or communal ones. Oh, well, that's quite nice. I appreciate it. Indeed. And he points you the other direction for your bedroom in the same direction that uh, Fayara went. But then, uh, so I believe that will leave uh, the rest of you for upstairs, as I think that is the majority of the rooms down here. Lolly's just studying the map and looking at uh, places that are marked, and yeah. Did you have a question for him, like I believe you stated earlier? Yeah, I want to know what Kirsabal is. Ah, Kirsabal. Yes, that is... There is certainly some history within Kirsabal. Uh, we have some time, which let me make sure I pull up my information on it. That way I don't get anything wrong. So give me one quick second. Okay. Sorry, it's lots of scrolling. Okay, here we go. Well, as legend would have it, that is where the last oh, true that. king and queen of Chuot reside, amongst bird folk that supposedly have a monastery at the top of it. I am switching accent horribly for this guy. I am so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Absolute disgrace. You're asleep. <laughs> I do not care. And for that, you get nightmares. <laughs> oh no. Roll a yes, d20 to see if I get nightmares. I won't stop you, but I'm not going to make it mandatory. Well, I'm dreaming of the troll tonight. You hear muffled screams from, uh... From Herg's room. <laughs> well, that's my brother, all right. I mean, Faye's a pretty light sleeper. She just <laughs> in the morning. There's nothing left of the pillows. <laughs> it just sits up for a minute and listens. Doesn't hear any more screaming. Just huh, and then slides back down. And then the next scream happens. <laughs> back up. What is that? <laughs> Just the dinosaurs, Faye. Don't worry. <laughs> but yes, no, it is a... Sorry. Hold on.
Sorry, Courtney had an open mic. Uh, she's talking to someone else. There we go. We're good. No? No. Not good. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. Um, yes, it is a plateau some few hundred feet above the jungle. Uh, if you wish to make it to the top, best of luck. If wind does not sweep you off, the bird folk might decide to push you off, assuming they exist. Noted. Uh, also, this one place, um, <clears throat> I'm assuming this is vengeance, <laughs> but it's like so semi blocked. Oh, yes, no, that is, you. that would technically be marked on there. Um, okay. <laughs> it would be marked as Camp Vengeance. That doesn't sound very friendly. <laughs> no, but friendly it still somewhat is. It is the second camp that had been set up by, make sure that I'm getting my names right. Oh, that's not it. Uh, by Templars of the Order of the Gauntlet. Uh, they first had set up Camp Righteous, that failed, and so they decided to push further into the jungle. That was not very smart of them, but well, there they reside. They have an outpost down there as they attempt to bring order to this lawless land. Why did they try to bring order to somewhere that's wild? Hmm, that is a good question. But they are not as testy as the Flaming Fist mercenaries are. So run-ins with them might not be so bad. Uh, okay. Did you have any other questions? No, I am not. a little bit tired from the day's exertions, and we could certainly talk on the morrow. Oh, no, no, no. No, that was all. Indeed. In which case, I <laughs> shall wish you a good evening. And he just kind of um, nods, inclines his head, and walks out. And you hear footsteps as he heads upstairs and... Uh, Spike, I believe you're the only one with an upstairs room at the moment. You hear him kind of walk past and head into the master bedroom. Oh, I didn't find a room. Crap. There's still upstairs rooms left, I think he said. Yes. Which, uh, if you head out into the main foyer, uh, where the grand staircase is, uh, you head up the, the long spiral up to the second floor. And you see a set of double doors ahead. That seems to be a... I forget what that room is. I'll have to look that one up. But uh, to the left and right of it, uh, down each hallway, there are doors uh, which lead into guest rooms. His room is uh, the final door on the right, going down the right-hand hallway. Um, oh, wait. I missed one. Oh, well. It's all good. Um, Whatever room. It doesn't matter as long as it... Yeah. Okay, I guess. Oh yeah, no, all all of the beds are super easy, comfortable. Oh, like these so these will make for a great night's sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. like it'll be difficult to drag yourself out of it the next morning sort of deal. Yeah. Why do they but, have guns? So unless you guys have anything else, we can certainly make it to the next day, yes. I'm good with that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, well, I think now will also be a good time to take a small break so I can refresh my drink. Um, as you guys are waking up bright and early the next morning, sunlight bright shining in through the uh, nice broad, uh, in some cases, multicolored windows. So uh, we will take a quick 10-minute uh, break and meet back. At, I've got 841 on here, so 851 if that sounds good for everybody. Sounds good. Works for me. Mm -hmm. All right, I will be back in just a second then. While we are taking our break, 
um, this is a good time to uh, go back to Momo, who still kind of needs our help. They haven't gotten their surgery yet, and they 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 could really use some assistance. Um. Momo only has $95 of their $400 goal raised, and uh, they could definitely use your help. Momo um, needs that surgery so that they can breathe right. His two kitty brothers are A-OK -okay fine, but Momo needs breathing. Especially now as we're going into the hotter months, it's uh, more difficult on cats because, you know, fluffy, warm. All that fun stuff. Please help Momo breathe better. Uh, the link is in my uh, my Twitch bio down there in the About Me. Momo's GoFundMe. Help the asthmatic cat. Thank you to anybody out there who chooses to help Momo. Momo will appreciate it. Help Momo right now. Momo's life depends on it. You wouldn't want to see an adorable cat die, would you? I mean, he's not going to die. It's just really hard for him to breathe. Yeah, hard. Uh, it being hard to breathe could possibly lead to death. I mean, yes, but let's not talk about dead cats on the stream, baby. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Aaron, I don't know where your Twitch bio is, but if you shoot me a link, I'll throw a couple bucks toward it. Sure, I would be happy to. Alrighty, and here we go. Save Momo. Save Momo. And, um, anywho, while we are waiting on everybody else to get back from their breaks, their drinks, and their bathrooms, I just want to give a shout out to anybody out there watching. Uh, Rob, I see you lurking there. Um, also, I see, I see Heather lurking there as well. Thank you, Heather. Um, and, uh, we will see you guys on Friday, this Friday, for... Dragons also may be dungeons at our normal 10 p.m. time with Felix and also Kat, our missing uh, our, our missing orc mom don't you know? Um, so we will be happy to see you there, and I'm going to take a very needy dog out for the rest of this break. I'll be right back. Oh. I'm coming, dog. Yawn. Anyone bored? No. Yeah. Also, don't you think the SpongeBob that I posted um in New Crew looks kind of weird? I haven't seen it yet. Oh. Right now, Spongebob looks like he's high.
in Prince's Villa. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. So I'm tongue in a pill at the moment, so you're gonna have to give me a bit before I can really talk. It's all right, it's all right. Ooh, I am in a room with a fluffy bed. I should maybe pick a different character token because you can barely see that. <laughs> or just darken it. Oh, yeah. All right, so there we go. I think I am good to go if everybody is ready. I've got eight fifty one. Do we have everyone back? Uh, Jason, you back yet? Back. Jason, are you back? Yeah, I said I was back. Okay, sorry, babe. Didn't hear you. So we've got a Heather. We've got a Jason. We've got an Aaron. Do we have a Billy? I'm here. Do we have a Felix? Yes. Oh, Felix extra quiet. Must turn Felix up. Wait, I'm in a room. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, my face is at least a foot away from my mic. I will I will never Wait, we're in rooms. <laughs> yes. Yes we are. Yes. So um much of the describing that I was doing earlier was this map. Um <laughs> I was making sure that things were set up and good to go. I don't know if some of this stuff is still working because I haven't tested it yet, but yeah, this is uh, this is the Merchant Prince's villa. This is Wakanga's home. Some of you are on the first floor, some of you are on the second. Um, excuse me, but yeah, the doors should work properly. I make no promises. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, feel free to explore however you wish. If you wish, I certainly won't stop you if you want to stay in your bedrooms. Um, I put everybody in the like main little common room for each of their bedrooms. Um, sit Lolly, your door is over on the right hand side there. Spike, yours is on the left. For you, Busey, and you, uh, Faye, your doors are above you with the door going down leading out to the courtyard. And well, you're already in your bed, Herg, so you know which way is out. Yes. That door below you leads into your closet. Hmm. 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 I go back in the closet. Aha! <laughs> Shut the door. It's too bad. You're already out. Damn it. <laughs> Herg wakes up and grabs the blankets, rolling end over end until he is a burrito with blankets going... And yeah, that, that burrito is like a good six or seven feet thick because these are nice, thick blankets. You know, especially for being in the middle of a jungle and it being freaking hot outside, it is remarkably cool inside oh. Wakanga's house. So it just, it, it feels, it feels oh. right to just snuggle up with blankets. Yeah, I forget. So my page scrolled up. How do you get it back to where I can see it again? Uh, you uh, left click and drag. Thank you. Appreciate that. Apparently, I can't lay on the bed. And it coincides with a wall. That is because you are not walking through the door. There we go. Yeah, you cannot drag Sit your token the through the walls. I wonder if I can go through that curtain. You gotta open the door and then go through and then All close. Right. So Bucephalus is currently working on his sit up. In the morning? Hmm. Oh, is it more? Oh, did we already sleep? Yes. Oh. Hmm. You worked on your sit ups the night before. Yeah. I thought I thought we That's were taking a long off. Long hallway. <laughs> Herg eventually will get up and um, 
still dragging one of the blankets with him, kind of like an oversized coat, go and uh, peek through the uh, peek through the curtain. Mm. Yeah, you you peek through, and oh, you're back out in your little common room. Turns around and goes back to bed. <laughs> So, it is bright and early the next morning. What do, you, what do we find folks doing? Looks boring. <laughs> I'm trying to get to where everybody else is. This I'm in the door, hallway. The door I'm doesn't want to cooperate with me. Her went back to bed. Faye's probably getting up pretty early uh, to go find the bath because it takes a little while to soak and wash up. I'm just going to sit here. Herg eventually gets back up again after about 20 minutes of wallowing in bed, reluctantly leaving the blanket behind, shedding a tear as he does so, and comes back through the curtain, walks over to the fountain, braces himself, and then dunks his head in it. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> I have never not wanted to wake up so much in my life. And you hear that, Silali, as you're going past that door towards the top of the hallway. <laughs> oh, hi, Faye. Good morning. Oh, eh, good morning. Oh, I did not remember where they said the bathhouse was there, do you know? Yeah, I'm trying to. I can't work my way around this place to save my life at the moment. Ah, well, uh, maybe this back soon. I'm just trying to figure out where we can eat breakfast. I'm trying to figure out how I get out of this one space. But yeah, Silali, you go walking into there and you see, wrapped only in towels, several other members of the house just kind of sitting and lounging around on the benches along the walls and um, washing up in the fountains. And from behind, some of them are quite naked. I hope you know where you're going. Hi, right, Silali. Kurg is rubbing his eyes. Is it not that way? Uh, no, it appears to be a storage area. Uh, I'm not ah. sure. Yeah, I, I saw somebody kill in storage. <laughs> so I think they're here. pretty sus. Kirk waves at Sit Lolly. Oh, okay. Oh, there's one person. Where's the room that we were in yesterday? <laughs> I have no idea where anything is. I think it was this one. Herg opens this door. And and you gonna look go in it? Yeah. In fact, uh, you already see Syndra lounging in one of the couches. Um, <laughs> she seems to be uh, going over some notes. Oh, fuck. Where's our mummy? <laughs> we're terrible with pet people <laughs> and companions. <laughs> Uber. Crying out loud, it's supposed to be my companion too, and I haven't paid attention to her. Actually, in the corner, almost right next to you, her. Oh, uh, uh, hi, hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> I slept for centuries, a couple of nights standing in the corner of a room means nothing. You shouldn't say that out loud. I actually had a wonderful conversation with. Ah, uh, the proprietor, Wakanga. He does not seem to mind the fact that I am a mummy. Oh, okay then. I will stop whispering. Faye's <laughs> just gonna wash her face in his face. Hey, I uh, think hey, they're aware uh, that I think the people are reporting us there. Lots of people. Um, I am going to start with Heather, then we will go on to you, Billy, and then I will get you, Fayara. 
Kirk sits down. So, sit lolly. What was that? Are people okay? So, are the two people that we would think would be aware of what's her? I can't. What's her damn name? Sonar. Sonar. Yes. Sonar. Okay. Are the is Syndra and Wak so Wakanga's aware? Is Syndra aware? And Syndra looks up and I am quite aware, yes. Then why did we lie? Or why did you lie saying she was a burn victim if they were aware? I was <laughs> aware of it last night. Uh most, oh. Mostly because people don't like uh, mummies most of the time. So we thought we should do that to keep her safe. Remember? Because, like, there's that thing where in a lot of places, the kind of magic that uh, makes up the, the, the people, like, like, like Miss Sonar, um, people get upset about it. Okay. Are, are yes. You, are you bad at me, sit lolly? I'm sorry. No, I'm I'm not. Oh, okay. All right, on to Busey. What uh, what was your question? Oh, well, I didn't have a question. I was talking to Faye. Hey, um, Faye, are, are you able to just teleport us there? Te teleport? Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. I do not possess any sort of power like that. Oh, dang it. That would be wonderful. Oh, I, I would not have to fly in the area if it were. <laughs> yeah, that would be... Uh, figured wouldn't no harm in asking. But I think we're kind of stuck. Yes, well, that is why I'm going to wash my face in this fountain, because I wash my face every morning, and this is the only water in the bike, so. Ah, right, well, you uh, do that. I'm going to try and figure out how to get back. I will profusely apologize. I did not realize that the door had been locked. <laughs> uh, it should be unlocked now. <laughs> Wait, so which door is it? Is it this one over here, then? <laughs> to the left. Oh my god. Yeah, I was like, I checked that door like three times. To the left, to the left. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that's, a, I, I didn't know it was locked. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You guys are good now. Hey, hey, Faye, you lost your face. The door just wait, magically wait. open. You were turning it the wrong way. It said push, not pull. I opened <laughs> that door, no problem. <laughs> That's... Yeah, it may have just been that one that I accidentally had locked. I'm sorry. The door that I opened. Hey, he's gonna dry her face off with a sleeve and then fall. <laughs> At least you missed the room of naked people. Yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that way you find Busey is uh, the front entrance, the the grand foyer, as it were. Um, and you, I believe, you should be able to see the open doors uh, up here where a couple of your friends are, along with Syndra. Which they will Faye close here? because that's proper. Is 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 Faye here? I mean, is is food here? Is there food? Uh, we can have food brought in. Yes. Awesome. How do they feel about bacon here? How do you feel of your bacon not being made of pig? If it is crispity and crunchity, it could be made of bugs, and I'd be okay with it. Well, it can certainly be made of bugs. Uh, I mean, I don't want it to be made of bugs, but like, I, I will take all the bacon that I can get my hands on. I need some hmm. for my pockets. Out of character, of course, but probably extra points to the cook if it's pocket bacon. I need I need a jar, and I need to put bacon into that jar and keep it in my pocket at all times. Well, almost as if it were Hi, uh, a few minutes later, some 
bacon on a platter is brought in. Where's Spike? Hello. Hello, my name is Spike. Yeah, but where are you? <laughs> you know what? To be honest, I have no idea. He's currently on the second floor right hand guest room. Hey, y'all, I got a very important question for you. Yes. In the midst of the evening's events, did anybody come across my book? I went to bed and it was not in my bed. I have not seen it either. I was not looking, though, eh? Maybe I will look uh, before we leave. You didn't drop it in a fountain, did you? No, I didn't. I had it. I had it secured. It w it was right next to my flask. Well, I mean, if you don't have it, I guess it wasn't that secure, right? Because you left it somewhere. Hmm. Wait, on second thought, have you seen my flask? I didn't go looking for your flask. Uh, did you have it when we were in the market? Because if you do not have it after then, then somebody might have taken it. Oh, yeah. That happens in cities, right? Megda used to warn us about that. Not too often, but sometimes. Did Megda think... borrow your book? Oh, God, I hope not. She, <laughs> she might have taken it with her to, you know, read to her kids, because they like that stuff. Oh, praise be to Lysander. I don't think there's any way for you to get a hold of her either. Uh, yeah, I don't know where she went. She could be here, or she could have gone home. I don't know. I was like, I remember, I remember having a read while y'all were out. I must have did something with it, and a couple hours later... I was having a confrontation with Miss Yolo over there, and then I don't know who Yolo is. Wait, did Lolly have you seen my book? Cause I saw I was reading it right before we got into a fix. Cough, meta gaming, cough, cough. <laughs> no, not meta gaming. No, no, I was talking. No, the last time I saw you have your book was with Megda. Oh, dang it. I'm not metagaming. What? I read the book and then I talked to her. It's reasonable. Get out of here. You know, the last time I saw it was when you had it with Megda. Uh, after that, I don't know. Oh, I don't really it. know what you do. Well, uh, maybe we ask Wakanga if his servants could search the hall. Maybe you simply dropped it. Oh, maybe somebody found it and took it to a library. Does this place have a library, Miss Sindra? Uh, yes, Wakanga does have his own uh, store of literature. Yeah, if you lost a book and a servant found it, that's probably where they would take it. Mm. Makes sense to me. And uh, then you just see leaning up against the door from uh, Wakanga. Uh, yes, one would bring it to me to ascertain its value, but no, none have. No. Oh. Done. I apologize for the grievance, but... It is alright. Uh, we will keep looking, no matter where. Yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I was just kind of... It's enjoyable. What kind of book was it? Uh, it was a book on magical history and such. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, Mr. Wakaka, do you have any books like that? Maybe not his, but someone like it? I, in fact, have plenty of books. Is there one he could maybe borrow or purchase? Or if he has a duplicate of the book. I highly doubt that, but he may. Sorry, uh, had some out-of-game conversation mm -hmm. with in-house folks. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, Faye was asking, uh, uh, could, uh, do you have maybe one he could borrow or purchase? And then I asked if there was a duplicate. I do not have duplicates, but I 
to have something of value if you wish. It might be worth checking into. And he disappears for a second. But of course, we will still look for your book. Uh, maybe while we are out uh, uh, gathering supplies for the journey tomorrow, uh, we can ask around to the places we have been. Oh, the yeah, market yeah. and the... That's very kind of you, but I'm not that. It's not that big a deal. Oh, all right. I, I thought it maybe might have been a, a family keepsake. Uh, I know I would be sad if I lost something like that. Yeah, I borrowed it. See, I borrowed it from um, Mr. Wakanga over there. And... Oh. I thought that was one of the ones that we found at the place. Wait, time out, because I, I feel like, because he lent me it. Was it? Oh, wait, you're right, you're right, yeah, my bad. Because I picked it up from the shelf when we were in the, the other space. Mm -hmm. um, go on with that original thought, though. Oh, okay. No, because right. <laughs> I want to know what you know. Because if you know what I think you know, then what he's about to do, I think we've already done before then. Mm. Um... Because yeah, I remember, because I was talking to him, because I trying to remember it. I just gotten a level where we were just talking about it, because I just gotten a level where I could start to understand magic. And I was asking him for books on like magical history or spells and things like that. I think, and then he gave me a bunch of options. I'm completely not remembering. Which... Yeah, I don't remember that uh, either. I'm trying. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Uh, I think you were. Is... I think what you were trying to do is you were trying to talk to him about the book initially, and he and said he didn't know anything to about it. Him, no. Yeah, because we were having a conversation on it, and he said he didn't know anything about it, but it looked interesting. Mm -hmm. found it interesting, and then when you tried to get the book, you couldn't find it. Yeah, because I saw the tail end of that conversation um, because I had to uh, I had to search it because um, I, I was looking for the name of that captain. So I caught the tail end of okay. that conversation before it switched over to the Harbor POV. Alright guys, this is what happens when we take a month off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't think he gave you any books. He said he had a library. No. Okay, and never mind. Maybe I just I remember the conversation, but he maybe didn't give me anything. I'll, yeah, he said he that. didn't know anything about your book, but it looked interesting, and he has a library. Oh, and hmm. you said you were gonna check it out sometime. Works for me. And not a moment later, he comes walking back in with a, a rather plain-looking tome. Uh, lays it down on the table in the middle and this may be of some interest to you then i should hope it is uh something that has been at the forefront of my mind for a while now it is also something that you folks are going into the jungle could look into for me oh, oh boy well we are a little task saturated at the moment well i mean this is part of the task, remember? Indeed. The and task was point. to go look at that place and also explore along the way. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're not wrong. I am not, because that was literally what he told us yesterday. I mean, it could not hurt depending on what it is. Yeah, why not? Let's take a look. All right, in which case, this is a spell book belonging to uh, a man named Vaughn. He apparently was a magic user of some power before he disappeared in the jungle, and this was recovered. Uh, it shows where he had been heading. He kept notes on it, apparently. And following those, I should be able to make a notation on the map here for roughly where he should be. 
which give me one quick second because I thought I had this uh, all worked out and all that fun jazz. I bet it's right in the heart of Red Skull territory. Did you know there's now two maps of Cholt on the screen? Hopefully you should only see one now. Now I do. <laughs> yes, no, I know. Because uh, what I had done was I took the map that showed everything and just put in hexes over it. But I did not save a copy of the original. Um, so I just made a duplicate now and I'm just going to delete all the squares off of it. That way I have uh, what should be here. Point of Sorry. reference. Hey, question. Just on, a, just on a sidebar for my own mental picturing. Is this gentleman we're speaking with, what does he look like? Uh, that is a fair question. And I have a picture, if I could actually show it, maybe. If we're lucky. All right, well, the picture and the one thing I couldn't do. So here we go. Owie. Well, okay, so it wasn't that far off. Because, like, when the way you were, the accent you used, I couldn't help but think of uh, the the hotel manager from John Wick. Sure. I'm not familiar with that accent, at least not consciously. He has a lot of gold. Are his lips painted gold? His lips look like they're painted with cool gold paint. Oh, he's got Corey eyeshadow. He's cool. I like him. And yeah, probably. Uh, as for the spot he marks on the map... Uh, he points out an area around here. Let me let me see if I can actually draw a shape for you. So I have a question. If we have a picture of Wakanda, do we have a picture of Syndra? Nope. Ah, uh, that's fair. I could try to make one. Yeah, I put it in chat. That's the guy I think of when you do it. So when you draw the when you draw the shape, it vanishes underneath the hexagons. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Um, but it's over by Camp Vengeance. Uh, it's supposed to be. Hold on, if I can just ping it. Uh, oh, there. Somewhere, somewhere in that general region. Imagine that circle is circling like those few hexes around in there. Got it. Sweet. But yeah, I, I cannot draw properly now within Foundry because the draw tool. Oh, I can, I can still draw. But instead of drawing as I'm doing it, I get to click, move my mouse, and then double click. And then wherever my mouse went, it draws there. So, yeah. It's a guessing game, is what you're saying. For drawing, yes. And I'm supposed to be able to bring it up levels and send it down levels, but that's not working, apparently. I can't even send that behind. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the heck is going on with it. Oh, well. Oh, well. We got a circle on the map. <laughs> it's just there now. Forever. No, that's gone. That's gone. Yeah, I'm just going to delete it, because screw that crap. Okay. Uh, Herg uh, eats his fill of bacon and any fresh fruit provided and then fills up a pouch with pocket bacon. Which, yeah, it's it's much richer and heartier than you're used to for the bacon. Like, eh, the, the flavor is much more intense and it seems to be 
less fat content and more meat content, almost as if it's uh, jerky instead of um, like a, a, a good cross of fat and meat. Um, excuse me. But it, it's it's got a much heartier flavor to it. This is awesome. So, uh, should we go shopping? Question mark. Sure, why not? For the trip? Yes, uh, we need to speak to the captain first to ask about the dinosaur, yes? Yeah, that's uh, my first stop, for sure. Then, uh, I suppose I will go try to uh, sort out some rations. Okie dokie. I'll go talk to the captain and ask about the dinosaur. You're going to sort out rations and stuff. Uh, BC and Sitlali, what are you guys going to do? Sorry, I completely zoned out. <laughs> oh, uh, Herg was asking what you're going to do to get ready for the trip tomorrow. Herg said he's going to go ask about dinosaur transportation. Uh, Faye says she's going to go look into rations. And then Herg asked what you two were going to do. I will say for rations. Okay. I've got everything I need. What'd you say, BC? We need, we need food for when we go. We're gonna be gone for like uh more than a month, so yeah, definitely. Is there anywhere where we can restock along the way or no? Uh, that Port Castiglione place that uh, Mister. Mr. Uh, Wakanga said about, right? <laughs> no. No? There's a port in name only. Oh, what's in there? A lower fight beach. Oh, is it destroyed? No. Oh, so it doesn't have anything? Correct. Uh, there's like nobody living there? It is simply a place where boats can pull up oh, on so that side of uh, the jungle. Oh, okay. So, like, nobody lives there. It's just a really cool stretch of beach for boats to stop. Pretty much. It is located at the mouth of the river, heading down to the Ateas. But other than that, no, there is not much of note there. It perhaps uh, centuries ago when Mesro was at its height. It could have been something, but yeah. no longer. Well, then we definitely need to make sure we get enough rations. And we definitely are going to need a dinosaur to carry them. Because I don't know about you, but a month's worth of food is really heavy. I was going to say the same thing. I was like, I don't, I don't know if it's feasible for us to carry them. And you're talking a month of food per person. And that's a lot of weight. Yep. I'm gonna go see about the dinosaur now. You guys do stuff. Okay, bye. I'll see you later tonight. Herga's gonna wave and walk out. <laughs> dinosaur. Come on, Spike. Let's go talk to the captain and then look at dinosaurs. Dinosaur. And you guys take off through Port Nine Zaru down towards the dinosaur pens. Oh, uh, we we go to the the dock first because I gotta ask about the dinosaur before I buy the dinosaur. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, um, heading down this early in the morning, you do see a few people uh, at work on the, um, the ship itself, just general maintenance and whatnot. Uh, you don't see any short, stout figures amongst them, though. Do I see the guy who identified himself as Greg, the first mate? Yes, in fact. I wave at Greg. Hi, Greg! He doesn't seem to hear you at first. 
I take a deep breath and I yell as loud as I can, Hi, Greg! And then he just kind of looks up and looks over and spots you and just kind of half-hearted, strange, like, uh, hey there, wave. Greg, it's her. We met yesterday because I'm going to ride the boat and stuff. I and just... He just, he just, he just, like, nah, 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 just, and he just waves you over. Oh, he, I come over. <laughs> and he meets you down on the dock. Ugh, morning. Morning. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. Like no sport. Yeah, so, uh, like my brother said, we were thinking about getting a dinosaur to take with us when we go in the jungle, but we needed to know if we're allowed to take a dinosaur on your boat before we do that, because I don't want to spend money on a dinosaur that we can't actually bring. <laughs> Probably not, no. No dinosaur. And, uh, unless it's really small. Uh, really, the small ones are liable to eat people, so, like no. Horse-sized, maybe? I don't know what dinosaur is going to be horse-sized that'll help carry things, but... I don't know either, but if it was horse-sized... I mean, I don't think I'd be able to ride on the dinosaur. No, we're going to put food on the dinosaur. But, um, I was... If it was horse-sized and it wasn't the kind of dinosaur that eats people, would it be allowed? You'd have to take it up with the captain. Do you know where she's at? Nope. Okay. Do you know when she'll be back? Before tomorrow morning. Okay. Do you know where she likes to go when she's not here? Business. And that would be where? And he just gestures vaguely at the entirety of the city. Ah, cool, cool, cool. So what do you guys usually have as cargo? Because, I love you too, Patrick. Uh, because that would probably be where she went to sell stuff, right? In a manner of speaking. I am getting the distinct feeling that I should not be asking questions. And he just winks and there's a good laugh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so probably no to the dinosaur then, right? Yeah. Uh, mm. I make no promises. She has final say. But if it's small. And it doesn't uh, eat people. And it doesn't eat people. Okay. Like, should be fine. Like, oh, man, I wanted to ride on the dinosaur. Not this time, because we're out going on a boat. Maybe next time if we don't need a boat. Um, so small, doesn't eat people, just big enough to carry some of our food. Maybe okay, but Captain has final word, right? There you go. Okay, cool. Thank you, Greg. It's really nice talking to you again. I'll see you tomorrow before bad before we go out there on the water and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'll bring you a muffin. Okay, okay. And he just kind of looks at you like, what? A muffin. You know. Yeah. It's like a pastry, and it's got dried fruit in it. And... I know what a muffin is. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know if they had muffins here. I was just going to make some and give you a muffin. I hope you're not trying to bribe me. It's weird. I uh, know. I just like cooking. Won't stop you. Cool. Uh, how many are on the crew so I know how many muffins to bake? Let me see if I can actually look that up for you. Yeah. We're just catching cable with all kinds of them. I'm gonna fucking come up with a basket of muffins to give to the crew. It's happening. <laughs> as long as Wakanga lets me use the cigar darn kitchen. <laughs> you know what? Just to be on the safe side, uh, make two dozen. Two dozen? There's only... He counts on his hands. 24 of you? No, there's... Okay. Six. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, yeah, you guys probably need a lot of muffins to help sail a ship, so definitely two dozen. You got it, boss. Yeah. Uh-huh. Don't call me boss. Uh, you got it, friend? Dude? It's Greg. Thank you. You got it, Greg! Greg. Greg? It's got an I, not an E. Greg. 
Grig. Grig. Okay, and bye. It, and he just kind of like, as you're walking away, you just see an eyebrow raise. And he just kind of turns and gets back in the boat. The eyebrow will raise all the further when he tastes my glorious muffins. No, just the other one will raise and join it. Is it muffin time? Oh, wait, no, it's actually 1230. And then uh, me and Spike are probably going to go towards the dinosaurs, but I think it's somebody else's turn. <laughs> Yes, it would be somebody else's. Four. So who's up next? Um, um, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I, I, I think just going to get food, so that's probably not exciting. <laughs> I, I also like eating burger. Oh, boy. Um, so Boo Boo's anticipating that, at least from his vantage point, carrying that much food and Trying to maintain him from spoiling just isn't going to go well. So he, I want to go buy a hunting supply. Like what? A uh, fishing rod, spear, extra arrows, bait, a net, that kind of stuff. Herc has a hunting trap. Oh, and extra hunting traps too, yeah. You were able to get that off the troll, right? I can't remember if you did or not. I may have to buy another one. I don't think we... Wait, actually, the troll dot sort of is dead, right? Mm -hmm. Did I take the hunting trap back from the troll? It was my assumption you did. Okay, I did that then. <laughs> Whether or not it died, died is a different story. Yeah, I am not going to think about that. He's hunting us forever, the revenant troll. But, yeah, no, it's easy enough. Oh, crap, I completely forgot to mention that. Okay. Well, uh, we will get that. To make, uh, write down a list of what you want, Busey. Um, like, write a physical list or type it up or something. Um, yeah. That way we remember. Um, okay. It will be easy enough to get all of that. It will just cost some gold. Uh, okay. And then we will get that added into your inventory later. Okay. Cause... And I also wanted... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's, I was just going to say that certain stuff that broke, that it was rather heartbreaking that it broke, I can't get fixed yet, so mm. we will have to deal with things kind of in an old-fashioned way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can't add stuff to our inventory again? Or anything? Yeah, there's, there's no. a certain module that currently doesn't work, so when we level up, it's going to be the hard way. It's cool. Oh. I have an app. It, my question is, is what, do you think that'll be fixed by the time we level up, or no? Uh, I'm sorry, I have no idea. Yeah. I hope so. But we'll see. That sounds, Got it. That sounds like the kind of discussion where, for legal reasons, we should have it off the air. Pretty much, yes. Just in case. So, Boo Boo's going shopping for hunting supplies. Yeah, and uh, it will take you the majority of the day going around the city to the Grand Souk and the Red Bazaar to find everything in question and then making your way over to the fish market for fishing supplies and the like. But uh, overall, it'll probably be in the neighborhood of 30 gold, give or take, for all of the general supplies. Okay. The only other things I wanted were... Uh fresh water and I wanted to find um, like cool as in breathable clothes uh, breathable clothes there's nothing but um, it'll be we'll say two gold for a full set of clothing that, as such and fresh water yeah all over the freaking city there's public fountains all over the place Okay, so I can just buy bottles and fill them up. Uh, everybody technically should already have a water skin that, mm -hmm. unless we are out in the jungle, it is assumed that it is always full. Okay. Um, as you are doing some shopping, um, you, you would have heard some people talking about getting a rain catcher. Mm. Rain! Yeah. Which, add that to the list. Gotcha. And uh, for obvious reasons of what it does and what it will do for you. Right. 
almost like a water still. Pretty much. Uh, essentially, it's a, a glorified tarp that will catch water and allow you to put it into other containers for later consumption. All right, but other than that, BUC, did you have anything else? Uh, that's everything for me. All right, Sid, Fayara, what are we doing? Uh, well, Faye would, uh, let's see, since Faye is in charge of getting rations, um, she'd probably try to go to the tavern she's been staying at and ask the lady that she loves the cooking of and see if she would be willing to make, um, well, that, that would probably, you know, that, and then she'd probably think about it and think, uh, well, that's a lot of cooking to do in one night. So then she'd think, where else would I go? Hmm. Maybe the market. And she'd probably head to the market and look for probably a sh food shop of some sort. Which there are numerous, all spread throughout both, uh, all three, the fish market, the bazaar, and the grand soup, depending on what sort of food you would like to buy. Mm -hmm. um, oh, she says, thinking to herself aloud, uh, I think I would, uh, we should get something that does not spoil easily since we'll be gone for a while, and uh, maybe something that is dried and can be cooked with uh, water. Most rations are dried. Jerky, fruit, hardtack, nuts. Eat. So, she probably go to the Red Bazaar first. And scat out some of the food stalls that are selling foods and look for things that look ration y or things that are selling just basic ingredients to put together rations for themselves. Uh, effectively, you could do either. Um, there are some who have pre made uh, kind of packs put together um, exclusively for those venturing out to the jungle, but there are plenty of people who are selling food on their like, own um, that could be used as part of a ration kit. Um, either way, it's going to cost the same amount of gold, which, let me look up the cost. Mm. Faye remembers um, that Lolly lamented over having another thing to take care of, so she's probably going to opt for the pre-mates. Perfectly understandable. And for one gold piece, you can get two days worth of rations for one person. Um, so, so for fifth, so be so roughly. I'm I'm gonna need some help on the math here. Uh, so if we are assuming, let's just round up to four whole weeks or forty days. It'd be twenty gold for one person multiplied by five. You're looking at about 100 golds worth of rations. And that would also, uh, barring extreme mishaps, completely negate the need for foraging in any form um, or hunting or fishing on your own. If you wish to do that as you're going along, you could certainly get uh, less. Well, uh... Personally, I don't have any gold. <laughs> At least not by a minute, by inventory that I see. Um, so, hmm. Faye will take the prices back to everybody and let them know what the prices of the Russians are, so we can work out a price there. I think. I, I would buy everything, but I don't know how much gold I have, if any. I don't think I have any. Mm, I thought I'd given you some, but... Yeah, your inventory doesn't have any. Um, if she comes across Herg and Spike on the way to the dinosaur market, Herg would give her probably a hundred gold to work with. I mean, that is right next to the Red Bazaar. Eh, well... Well, 
Yeah, she probably would go back to the villas to meet with everybody, but knowing knowing where they would have gone, she'll probably dip in to see if they're still there. Which, yeah, as you are taking some time to look around, um, especially still this early in the morning, or getting towards mid to late morning, uh, you do see Herg and Spike making their way yeah. down the road towards the dinosaur pens and Tariki yeah, Anchorage. And uh, Faye's gonna lift her arm in there and like hop and wave. Ah, Herg, Spike, look! Oh, hey! Did you find stuff? Ah, uh, yes! Uh, unfortunately, I, I do not have enough uh, money to cover it. Uh, oh. Let's see. Uh, How much uh, do we need? Uh, well, I, that's, that is what I was going to ask everybody if we could all chip in. Uh, uh, so it would be about a uh, hundred gold uh, for everybody for about a month for the pre-made rations. A hundred gold this... per person or a hundred gold like for everything? For everything, for everybody, I believe. Okay, here's a hundred gold. Wait, 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 was it for everybody? Yes. It's about 20 gold per person um, to get oh, yeah. enough rations so that you don't have to do any sort of foraging or hunting on your own or anything. Herg takes oh. a hundred gold out of his gold and gives it to, to uh, her. Here you go. Hey, looks shocked and accepts the gold pouch with the little oof. It's probably heavy. I, I, are you sure? Yep. And now Herg only has 902 gold left. Alright, I will go buy it and I will uh, see if they can ship it back to the villa. Uh, have you found anything about the uh, dinosaur yet? Yes, it has to be no bigger than regular horse size and it can't eat people. So I'm going to go ask if there's anything like that. And oh, we'll go yes. from there. <laughs> if there isn't, yes. maybe we'll have to get an actual horse or something. Oh, if I may, uh, mm -hmm. uh, this there was a, a, a herbivore. I believe they are gone. Uh, and they, it looks like it has a, a, a big horn on his head, but like a hollow. The head is uh, empty and it makes a very loud noise. I do not know uh, what it is called, but I have seen people use that for a, a like a pack mule almost, but it is not a mule, obviously. Is it horse sized or bigger? Because it can't be bigger, it has to be smaller. Oh, hmm. I think it's about the same size, maybe a little bigger. You should go find, uh, find Erwin. Uh, he will know. He knows very much about every dinosaur there is. You're right. Maybe they have like a younger one that's smaller than the others, or like a runt or something. I bet they'd rather get rid of the runts if they can. I'll go ask. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Thank you. No, thank you for doing the shopping. I, I like dinosaur. <laughs> Me too. And then, dinosaur uh, is cool. <laughs> and then Faye's gonna go back and buy the rations and uh, ask the shopkeep. It, it, could this be delivered to uh, the um, uh, uh, Wakonga uh, Villa? Was there a question for me in there? I didn't hear yes, one. Yes, there was. Yeah. Oh, that's my bad. Um, that's okay. What was uh, the question again? Faye got the gold from her and went back to the place where she was buying the rations and asked the shopkeep, uh, uh, would it be possible to have these uh, all shipped over to a Wakanda's villa? Uh, we are going to uh, meet the ship in the uh, harbor tomorrow morning, if that would not be possible. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry that I missed that the first time. Um, <laughs> but uh, they do respond. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we certainly can. Um, easy enough. Because, like yeah, <laughs> that, that is a, a lot of weight. It's in the neighborhood of uh, a couple hundred pounds. Yep. Yeah. Ah, Delight, thank you so much. Uh, we are looking to buy a pack animal to uh, carry it. So, uh, uh, to Wakanga's villa and we will take care of it from there. Uh, and thank you so much. And uh, then Faye's going to go ahead and go back and tell everybody the good news. I need 
Oh. All right, and you start making your way back up. Uh, Silali, was there anything that you were doing? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Well, if something crops up, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to hop over to uh, the brothers. The brothers sword steal. Is Busey doing anything? Uh, he is actually in the midst of sending me supplies. Um, which oh, okay. take care of in a hot second. He's doing his shopping list. Yeah, I put I put it together. It's quite organized, so. Yeah, we'll go um, over that in a second, Busey. Because um, okay. yes, that will take us a hot minute, and that will probably round out the session then. So we'll hit our brother's sword steel as you make your way into the dinosaur pens. And you do see Erwin bright and early there uh, feeding some of the some of the plant eaters around there. You do see a couple of mace tails, some three horns, and some of the fluters. Hi, Mr. Erwin. Hi. There we go. How are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, we're going to be going into the jungle, and we got to carry, like, a lot of food with us so we're gonna need something that can carry that but we're gonna be on a boat first and they told me it can't be bigger than a horse and it can't eat people well kind of rules out half the stuff that was selling here <laughs> uh i can't really be doing a mice tail a fluter or one of the three horns here they're a little bit bigger than your average horse and some of the terrors that you can normally take that are trained even though they're trained uh they'll still eat people well. Eye, right? They're still carnivores, so kind of rules them out. But we do got some giant lizards around here that could do. Yeah, does that work? Yeah, it's like sure. As long as it's not bigger than a horse and it likes like head scratches. Uh, they love head scratches, like, and no, not, not really, like not much bigger than a horse. Uh, maybe a little bit smaller. Oh, Rideable perfect. Rideable too, if you okay. wish, if you get a saddle. Um, would they be yeah. rideable and carry food? Because it's going to be like for a little bit more than a month of like rations. I don't really recommend it, but it could be done. All right. Only I don't want to get tired out. And uh, what, do they, what do they eat? Just regular meat? Small rodents. Okay. Join insects. Uh, if they're really desperate plants. Jungle but, stuff? Uh, yeah, I'm sure jungle know. stuff. Amphibians. Yeah. Uh-oh, I think I froze. Stick to me, so I don't recommend that personally. But, yeah, now you can just give it some frogs, uh, birds. If you happen to catch it, fish. Stuff of that yeah. nature, you could probably toss it some of the salted meat and stuff from the yeah. pack spot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much anything will do. Awesome. Uh, and do I need to know a lot to train them, or are they like already trained? Is there a uh, manual? I mean, I'm pretty much the manual on these guys, so not so much. Oh. And these ones are pretty well trained to follow uh, command words. Okay, cool. All right, how much would one be? Uh, for one of the giant lizards, uh, as the gym looks at their price card again, uh, it looks like a hundred gold. Okay. Can I look at them? I have that, and I will buy one. But I, I yeah. want to, I want to see which one likes me the most. Oh, and Spike, Spike wants to see the ones that like him the most, right? Dinosaur. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all I know how to say. It's the excitement it's gotten to his 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 head. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right. I don't believe you there, mate. You've said some other words already. Dinosaur. Right, Good on you for trying. I not so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right over here. And he leads you uh, part way across the pens, and you do see in there some pretty freaking big lizards. Um, Dinosaur. Think like uh, Komodo dragons, but instead of the size of like small dogs. They're about anywhere from like nine to 14 feet long. Um, probably weigh a good few hundred pounds and uh, they look like they could snap off your arm and 
swallow it. I know so. I won't. I mean, a lot of voices at once. I mean, Irwin said they won't. Yeah, I they don't really like people. Well, they don't like eating people, so they're fine. Awesome. I offer them my pocket bacon to see who comes first. <laughs> no, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't be doing that, mate. They'll all be coming. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, unless you want your hand actually, actually snapped off because they're greedy. Oh. Yeah, I mean, then her could be a pirate. Uh, Why don't you just call to one of them and see if they come? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. Here, Lizzie, 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 I wish to give you head scratchies. And I see who comes to me first. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> Make an animal handling check for me. I'm good at those. <laughs> uh, not anymore, I'm not. <laughs> and... You're, you're, you're kind of just like calling out to them, uh, just kind of like beckoning, and a couple of them just kind of raise their heads and lazily look over. They seem to be basking in the nice warm sun, and uh, they just kind of put their heads back down. And... Oh, Spike, my... you try God Spike. Jesus. All right, you, you want to go? How about it, son? Roll animal handling, Spike. <laughs> oh. Okay. Patrick, stop that. Yes, you did, Patrick. Jason. Right, how do I do this? Uh, you go into your uh, character sheet, into attributes, and you click on the part that says animal handling. Alright, let me see here. Animal handling... Don't demonetize this, Disney, just because Disney Plus is playing in the background. <laughs> That's not actually Disney Plus playing in the background. That was just, um, the Stormtrooper bear that we have. Oh, okay. Stormtrooper Build-A-Bear has sound. I forgot that. Yeah, because it had the song chip in its arm. You're right, you're right. But yeah. But anyway, either way, anyway. Disney, don't sue us, even though you like suing everybody. Okay, we don't speak for the brand or the company. Roll animal handling. <laughs> I'm trying to find that. Patrick, stop. Patrick, you're gonna get us sued. Part of oh, the there it is. Patrick, love, leave your brother be. Nope. And not not much more in the way That's of success. He's like, yeah, uh, he in fact, maybe like even less lizards kind of look up because they're already like just kind breaking. of over the d distraction and just kind of want to sun themselves and just lazily roll over and clean themselves and stuff. And no, they don't seem to be twitching. And then Erwin's like, mates, mates, come on, you got, you got to talk to the animals like you actually care about I do them. I care. Her cook's ready to oh. cry when he says that. Oh, I know you do, mate. But they're, oh, they're not people. So you got to treat them like they're yeah, intelligent so. beings, even though they're not. They're dumb as bricks. And he just whistles really loud, and a couple of lizards actually get up and immediately start trotting over. And they just kind of sit down, and you can see them looking up at Erwin expectantly. See, that's how you got to do it, mate. Get their attentions. You can't just holler at them. Okay. So, first lesson. They respond to whistles. You make yeah. a whistle, it'll come follow it. Got it? And and one immediately looks over at you and it trots over at your, your direction. I give it my hand to sniff. You hold your hand out and it's it's sniffing at it and it tickles a little bit and then uh, tongue just kind of snakes out and licks up it. <laughs> it tickles. There you go, mate. Be careful. If you've got anything... Uh, savory on you and immediately as he's saying that the, the gigantic lizard which is pretty big its head is like coming up to just under yeah. your chest uh heard um like these these things are big and they're chunky um it, it kind of like shoves your arm aside and immediately it's like sniffing at your pocket 
I, uh, I take his advice and go, uh, uh, no. <laughs> there you go, mate. And the, the lizard just kind of sulks a little bit and backs down. I give him head scratchies as a reward for listening. And one of the legs just starts twitching a little before it um, kind of <laughs> regains its composure and, and just kind of keeps butting its head under your hand, almost like a puppy. I like this one. Spike, do you like this one? Spike? Did somebody call my name? Yeah. Do you like this lizard? Let me see it. Dinosaur mode activated. Yeah, I think he likes the lizard. Uh, what's Dinosaur. Its, what's its name? Mm. I was asking Irwin. I'll call it Spike Jr. I think it has a real name. Irwin, what's its no, name? No, no, no. Nah, no it doesn't, like, mate. It's all yours. Uh, well, once you hand over 100 gold. Oh, say. yeah, right. Okay, yeah. I, uh, I dig out 100 gold. And now I have 802 gold. Yeah, I'm calling it Spike Jr. And modified. Okie doke. Alright. Uh, here is 100 gold. Do I need any, like, special saddles or tack or something? And where can I buy that? Hey, well... If you're looking for uh, saddles to be carrying stuff, got them here. Another few gold, I think. I can't remember the price of them. Yes, please. And also, you know, stuff to lead him with and whatnot. Is this thing gonna be the new Russell? Uh, I'm not a I'm not a ranger, so I don't think it works like that. I think it's just a pack animal with a personality. Uh, fair. Uh, five gold for the saddle, which is, includes tack and harness. Um, that'll let you load stuff up on the side okay. and on its back. Uh, try not to overdo it too much. These guys aren't the biggest. If you're really going for size, gotta be one of the mace tails, but this guy's a little too big for boats, at least most boats. Um, if you're looking for something really fancy, but we haven't really got any of that. We've got some, like, military-grade saddles, but those are for, uh, battle, you know. Otherwise, I think it's just going to be what I stay for gold. 25? No, 5. Uh, 5 gold for pack saddle. I'll take, yeah, just a regular pack saddle. And then, can you teach me all of the commands that it knows? <clears throat> Which I assume will take up the rest of Herg's afternoon. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Alright, so 5 gold will bring me down to 797 gold. And then we fade to black. <laughs> All right, and as you guys are getting the lizard, getting acquainted and learning all the commands, which primarily it's uh, whistling to get its attention, it immediately will respond and come to you with a whistle. Um, if, if it is a part, how do I say this? In, during initiative. Mm-hmm. If there is combat where this lizard is involved, which, hint, hint, wink, wink, you guys are going into uh, a massive jungle, uh, there will be combat involved at some point. Um, a whistle will not require uh, an action or a bonus action or anything. It is a free action to do, and on its next turn, uh, said lizard will immediately use its action to get to you uh, as quickly as it can. Um, if you wish to do more complex commands, such as, like, stopping it from doing something, it is going to depend on what it's doing. Mm -hmm. um, but primarily, it's just whistling and telling it to stop. Okay. Um, most of the commands are pretty much similar, where it's whistling to get its attention, yeah. and then saying something, namely, whatever it is you need it to do. But also, let me do this really quick. Sorry, 
talk about this all. way, all of you folks will have visibility no, she's not. and control she's over our she's useful. new friend. Spike Jr. Who at the is named Spike Jr. because I know. I mean that was just the first one tossed out. It's his name now. If, if you guys have any complaints or wish to change it, um, no, we'll do Maki. a group vote, but that is beyond me right Maki's now. Maki's in yes, Maki. We need to get him some armor. Oh, Alright, so there is Spike Jr., just the sheet itself. Mm -hmm. That will be primarily for combat and the like. Yeah. Um, that can there's, be moved. Like uh, it includes the token and actions mm -hmm. that it can do along with skill checks and whatnot. Okay. There is also the inventory one where Maki things that it. you guys are loading onto yeah. its saddle and whatnot can be kept in there and you can drag and drop between this sheet and your character sheets however you need to. So this should make things rather easy to help keep track of what's in your inventories and what is in Spike Jr.'s. Sweet. Spike Jr. And I have a question. Yes. Can Spike Jr. become over encumbered? Yeah. Oh, well, heck yes. Uh, anybody can if you're trying to carry too much. But how much can it carry, though? Or he carry? Because he has a pack saddle, it we're going to leave it primarily up to what's going to make sense here. Well, I, I figure that we should... Oh, oh, Seely speaking. I figure that we should probably at least carry three days worth of our own rations in case something happens to Spike Jr. and all of the rations. So that'll yeah. significantly dis decrease what he's carrying. Well, Spike Jr. So, might uh, eat said some of the rations, so... <laughs> I mean, he's trained as a pack animal, hopefully Alright, now that we have Spike Jr., and since it's a little past 10, I, I don't know about you, but this might be a good place to stop, though. I think Billy was going to say what he had bought first. I think we were doing that first, and then we were fading, if what Caleb said still stands. Yes. Okay. Um, although, uh, Jason, if you wish to hop off the evening, I certainly will not stop you, as it will be probably boring inventory humdrum. Yeah, I, I think I'm dropping off then. Alright, good night, baby. Sounds good. Thank good you, night. Night, Jason. It was a pleasure. It was also a good time joining in as well, especially since I got Spike Jr. now. <laughs> yeah, you guys got a giant lizard okay, in the party. Like, Maybe next time we'll get you a, like, a real dinosaur. Maybe next yeah. time we won't need to ride Maybe a boat I'll call to a fort of jerks. <laughs> Maybe on the way back we tame a wild dinosaur. Oh god, I don't think... I don't that's think we that's do that. always a possibility. Or find a baby. No eggs! Eggs. I mean, that's also a possibility. <laughs> find an orphaned dinosaur that we don't have to rip away from its family because it doesn't have one anymore. Feel a giant egg, expect it to be a tyrannosaur, it hatches out to be a tiny little fucking moa. Sorry. Sorry. Or maybe there will be some heartbreaking situations that I already have planned that will cause uh, all players to cry. No. Leaving oh, no. orphan. Are we going to find Littlefoot? I plead the fifth. Oh, no. Oh, no. Anywho, Billy, inventory. <laughs> How are you with you? Uh, Billy, I will tell you right now that half of those supplies will not be necessary. Um, it is too nitty gritty. Uh, uh -oh. hunting, hunting supplies will include the vast majority of what comes under it. That includes uh, bait and traps. Um, okay, I just wanted to be very specific on what all I wanted. Yeah, no, it's, that's not, not necessary. Bait, traps, and the fillet knife. Uh, yeah. those will be included in hunting supplies, so just a hunting kit. Okay, so... Alright, so... Now how much is the rest of it going to run me, then? Uh, for a separate spear... That's only a gold. The machete that I'm seeing there... Uh, that is going to be a glorified short sword, which I think is an, only another few gold. Mm. Yeah, that's another, you know, especially since it's a glorified one, we'll just say that's another five gold. The, what's next? Net. 
a general net will only cost a gold, and that is its own actual item uh, that will have lots of numerous properties uh, that can be used not just out of combat, but in as well. Mm -hmm. It's an actual weapon. Yes. The extra arrows, um, by extra, how many are you looking for? Uh, probably like an extra 20. Okay. It is one gold for 20 arrows. The rain catcher is also only a gold. Sorry, I'm having a tab between two extra, uh, two screens. Um, fillet knife is already included. That's right, fishing gear. Fishing tackle, which will include a rod, line, bobbers, steel hooks, sinkers, lures, and basic mm -hmm. fishing netting, will only cost a gold. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I keep going to the wrong one. Um, set of clothes. which in this case is just going to be common clothing. Um, you can get one set for half a gold, uh, so five silver. Uh, an extra water skin, I think it's only like a copper. Yeah, we're not even gonna bother with cost on, the, uh, on an extra water skin. Um, the one more set of rations is that just like an extra day's worth of rations yeah probably yeah probably just kind of an emergency thing which I should put that and the salted meats together uh yeah i was gonna completely ignore the salted meats because those come standard in uh, a day's worth of rations okay. um a lot of that with the hundred golds worth that already has extra mm. um unless you wanted extra extra i prefer extra extra just in case it goes to hell in which case uh five more silver so we'll just say you're uh, rounding up to a gold now from the clothing um mm. poncho will not be necessary and by not necessary i mean that will just be included in amongst the set of clothes okay. um burn ointment also unnecessary only because yeah it's fully possible to get sunburn out there but uh, it's included with insect repellent which is heavily pushed on you okay did we already did we already buy insect repellent because i'll buy that too if we have an insect repellent kit uh not so much a kit as uh you can either do uh small bottles of greasy salve um, which has 20 applications of it and mm -hmm. one application will last for 24 hours and that costs one gold per bottle um, there is also a block of incense which costs one silver for a block and one block burns for eight hours and that will okay. keep insects away during that entire eight hour period okay so I want five of each of those then all right, so five gold and five silver. And I think the last thing was rope. Yeah, because our rope, our rope is still with the troll. Uh, did you want hempen or yeah. silk rope? Uh, which one's stronger? Silk rope. Uh, we'll go with silk then. Uh, that will be 10 gold for 50 feet. All right. So let's see, because we cut out a bunch of stuff. What does that bring our total to? Oh boy. Um. Can't write it down. Um, I was loosely keeping track. It should be in the neighborhood of about, you know, we'll just say twenty-five gold. Okay. I'm probably undercutting it, but oh well. If you want to overcut it, be a bio means. I mean, never worry.
You want to round it up to 30? No, we'll, we'll keep it at 25. Okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I saved the list on a on a file just in case we can't add it right away. Uh, it will mostly just take a little bit of time since I have that in there. Um, I can get it added in tomorrow; it won't be an issue. Uh, so I'm changing my gold to three forty nine. Sounds good. And it just auto saves, right? When you fix it. Yeah, if if you change the gold amount, um, that's done automatically. Okay. All right, I'm pretty sorted then. All right, sounds good. And I think uh, as you are gathering your supplies and Herg and Spike are training with a dinosaur and uh, Fayar is making her way back towards the villa, I believe we will call it there for the evening. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a slow point to leave off on, but uh, <laughs> we're still getting re-caught back up after being gone for a month, so... Yeah. You'll have to excuse me for trying to get back into the swing of things. You have plenty of other cliffhangers to smack us with. Okay. Exactly. I'm going to do it. As such, thank you folks so very much. Uh, and for those listening, thank you for joining us for the first time again in a month. Um, we will have plenty more jungle traverse and shenanigans to come at you in the following weeks. So... Uh, I shall bid you adieu. Thanks everybody for watching tonight. Um, and catch us on Friday for Dragons Also Maybe Dungeons with our fellow player Felix, who will be Sives. Um, and uh, our former fellow player uh, Kat, who will be Nyx. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing you there, and we'll see you again next week for more Dungeons and Dinosaurs. Have a good night. Bye! 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 Bye.